everyone welcome to novin course welcome to the third session in our spring mvc tutorial series so so now since we have our project set up ready so now let's move on to the next step next step is to create the dispatches servlet so dispatches servlet is the uh, front controller of our uh, spring mvc application we have like uh, seen the spring mvc architecture in the first video uh, we would have mentioned that we would have seen that dispatch servlet acts as the print controller. So what what does that mean? That it means that dispatch servlet is going to uh, it's going to like uh, resolve all the incoming HTTP requests. It's going to find the correct endpoint, current, current mapping for all the incoming HTTP requests, and it's going to uh, transfer the control to that particular endpoint. Okay, that is what is mean by acting as a friend control so uh, this particular dispatch servlet can be configured in three particular ways that is first one is by using the it can be configured in the web.xml second one second method is using the web application initializer the third one is using abstract annotation config dispatch servlet initializer but since we have used maven to create our project structure maven has automatically created and configured the dispatch servlet in the web.xml for us okay so maven has made our job easy let's go to the eclipse and see how it has done that if we like go to the web.xml you can see that uh, the web.xml has some uh, pre-written servlet mappings this is nothing but the mapping for the dispatcher servlet you see here they have mapped the mapped a servlet named dispatch spring dispatcher uh, which has the base class here, the spring dispatch or the spring framework web dot servlet dot dispatch servlet with the URL like uh, the we see the servlet mapping. They have mapped the servlet uh, name spring dispatcher with this particular URL. So that means whatever URL, whatever HTTP request uh, the server uh, gets, the server will first go to the this particular servlet. Okay. So if you see here, this uh, servlet has the init params. Okay, this init param uh, has the the param name called the context class has this param value. Okay, annotation, annotation config web application context, and it has another set of init param where they have like mentioned this base class, right? So if you see here in this com dot string mvc dot application dot config. We have a Java class called MVC configuration. This is nothing but the dispatcher servlet. Okay, so here Maven has automatically created the dispatcher servlet and it has like configured it in the web.xml. Okay, that is what it has done. In thus, the servlet mappings are nothing but the mapping for the dispatcher servlet. So, where is the dispatcher servlet? It is inside this config package mvc configuration.java this is the dispatcher servlet so what they would like written in the dispatcher servlet they have configured a bean called view resolver okay so this view resolver is nothing but so if you like uh, see the mvc architecture uh, the dispatcher servlet goes to the controller finds the ma url mapping in one of the controller the controller evokes the business logic and returns the jsp name back to the dispatcher servlet so the dispatcher servlet using the jsp name it has to like resolve the jsp right with the with just the jsp name with just that string it cannot like find where that particular jsp lies right so that that job is done by this view resolver bean okay so they have like configured this view resolver bean and they have like configured the resource handler so this resource handler will have the uh, we'll have all the resource files, so like the CSS files, the JavaScript files, the image files, etc. So they have like re configured the resource directory. That is what they have like done down here in this method. So this this is our dispatcher servlet. Uh, Maven has automatically configured, created, and configured the dispatcher servlet for us. It has made our job easy. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can like configure this uh, dispatcher servlet or how we can like write this dispatcher servlet in xml okay so now in, uh, in this for this particular uh, tutorial series we are going to push all the configuration related items to xml okay uh, so actually like we are doing that 
for a purpose like it is always like good to push all the configurations to xml uh, that is the hardest way actually uh, but it is better if you like to in that particular way because if you like uh, in future if you learn like further uh, if you learn like higher frameworks like hybris they would have done all the configurations in xml so you, you if it is better to uh, learn from spring itself it is better to learn how to like uh, do all your configurations in xml so for that purpose in the next video i'm going to show you how to uh, create this uh, the dispatcher servlet in an metadata xml okay so see you in the next video